So this is our last harvest, last pick of Austrian Hellas pumpkins for the year. They were picked about a month ago. And quite a few of these when we picked them were just start, only starting to go yellow streaky. So they were very late pumpkins. It's May now. First of, 5th of May, so they were picked in early April um, before we pulled the vines up. And so the process that we use to end up with pumpkin seeds in the kitchen is first of all we cut them in half that way around the girth with a machete and then we have um, the pumpkins looking like this and we just use our fingers to rake out the um, rake out the seed we just pull the seed out and collect it in a bowl So it's got bits of yellow stuff all stuck to it. Once we've um, done all the pumpkins, we put that bowl of pumpkin seeds in water, or we cover them with water, and we soak them. At, how long we soak them depends a little bit on um, how warm it is. At this time of the year when it's quite cool, I'd probably soak them for two or three days. And what that does is, apart from taking all the yellow gunky stuff off and the it actually takes out all the phytate so that they're ready to be eaten as soon as they've been dried. The longer you soak them, the more easily digestible they are and I believe the more delicious they get become. They become quite, they get to the point where the outside green coat starts to actually come off and that's the point at which I like them the best. Um, and it's probably a sure sign that all the phytates are, have gone by then as well. So we'll take the bowl of seeds, um, fill, it, fill it with water or cover the seeds with water and leave them for one to three days. Then, then wash them round with our hands, agitate them um, and tip the water off and all the gunky stuff will come off with the water. Fill it up with water several times, tipping off all the gunky stuff and then tip them out onto a, a screen in a solar dryer or a dehydrator or into the sun on newspaper to dry them and once they're dried you can store them in a glass jar and pop them, toast them, grind them, do anything you like with them. Uh, we have them for breakfast most mornings um, popped so we just toast them in a frying pan and they kind of puff up and taste delicious they're really yummy to eat. Sometimes I grind them up with um, flaxseed and make crackers, they're delicious crackers. So if you cut your pumpkins open and the seeds don't look like that, then if they look as if they've got some kind of a hull on them. What that means is that you've grown them in close proximity to another cucurbit taceae pipo. There's three branches in New Zealand of the pumpkin family, the Moshata, the Maxima and the Pipo. And other Pipos will cross with these Austrian hullless pumpkins. And that changes the seed and very often it means it will have sort of a coat, on, a, a hull on it, which makes them much more difficult to eat. So if they don't look like that, it probably means you've grown them close to, you've either got courgettes in your garden or marrows or your neighbours have or some other member of that family, the Pipo family. Pipo species. Here we have Austrian hullless pumpkin seeds which I've soaked for um, I think about three days and you can just start to see that the coat on them is starting to deteriorate which means they kind of have the height of flavour really and they're they're um, they're ready to you can eat them like that or I prefer to pop them or toast them in a dry pan sometimes add a little bit of tamari at the very end um, to make them a little bit salty, they're delicious. So here we have a, a plate with some toasted watermelon seeds and some toasted pumpkin seeds. Both of these seeds require soaking um, either for a few days in a warm place or some warm water with maybe some whey in there or a little bit of vinegar in there, a little bit of something acid to remove the phytates and then, but, um, then they're dried and then they're both delicious when they're toasted. Um, we eat both of those things on our breakfast in the morning and they both come from our garden.